Hey, what's up, guys? So, there's this. I'm just gonna go ahead and say right now, this isn't gonna be a showcase video. I just kind of want to talk about the unit a little bit and my experience in using her because sometimes she's really hard to pick, and it's already really late right now, and I kind of wanted to put a video out. So if I try to get gameplay footage, like I might be queuing for a little while because I can't always pick her. She's just a straight up last pick unit that people underestimate, and she it turns out to like be very good, right? So, I'm going to go show you guys my match history real quick, and I'm just going to kind of talk through JQ say a little bit, and why I think she's actually not that bad. As you can see, I'm on a three win streak right now, and I drafted her here. And you, like, you're probably looking at this team, and you're like, what the hell is this draft, right? ML Care looks good. Uh, basically, it's just three busted units plus JQ say, right? And you're probably thinking to yourself, JQ say probably didn't really do anything, and you just won with the other three units, but I promise you that's not the case. So, we'll, we'll go through some matches here, okay? Um, so I didn't draft her here. I am using this shit right now because I rebuilt my ran Because I got tired of the crap, right? And I'm climbing so fast right now Like I think I started at a 51% win rate or something and I'm up to 52.3 I climbed almost 200 points in this Q session just like and I'm not picking it every single game Okay, like I'm picking it quite a few games when I can right uh, Bad example because you know, it's kind of like an every draft here but, um, yeah, see, like, I didn't pick it here, right? Didn't pick it here. I, I picked it here. Didn't pick it here. Um, and that wasn't even the top one, was it? Yeah, and I didn't pick it here, okay? So, like, sometimes, the, 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 really, the key is RAN. RAN is actually an insane unit that enables so much in your draft. And, like, he can be drafted in a lot more situations than just alongside Suceria. And, uh... I'm going to talk about that a little bit, too. But really, well, I want to focus on JQ say here. So, she really fits really well in this draft here. And then kind of replaces, like, where Cerise would be in the draft, right? Um, I don't know why this guy banned my ML Kerouac looking at this again. Um, I started banning Lilius when I wasn't first pick because uh, she's not fun to fight against, right? Um, and I'll first pick her if I have first pick. I won't ban her. I'll ban something else. But, um... Yeah, I kind of went into this degeneracy because second pick, it, it feels so damn bad, dude. Um, so when I saw he just slammed these, you know, of course, he just took the Rancis area. But uh, moving up into Jake Kise and why I think she's good, right? Um, the reset on her S3 is actually super valuable. Like, I reset this thing, reset this thing, and reset this thing. Notice, like, and I had ran, right? Um... I can't remember if I used this S2 or not in this draft. Um, I might not have. I don't think I did, actually. I don't think I... I just S1'd, and my... So, that way, my uh, JK say wouldn't get cut by the Politis, right? And then, I went ahead and S2'd. And I had that push up my Cesarea, but I already reset the Politis to where she couldn't S3. Um, I don't remember if she had immunity or not. But basically, you know, I, I delayed the turn on the RAN, and then I activated my Cesaria with her, which activated the Politis. But I already reset all of these units, so he had no kill potential on his team. He only had S1s. And I have a Belion on my team. So only having S1s with, like, his biggest damage unit, like, he pretty much just lost the game at that point, right? And then he wasn't able to really kill anything on my team. I got some bombs up. And then was able to lap around and then strip everything the next turn with Rand. Like, he actually survived till the next turn. Because he wasn't able to, to do anything. Um, I got the strips off, and then I got the provoke off of the Belion. And he literally couldn't touch me. And that's because I... Sh I uh, got the, the strip, and I got the cooldown reset, right? Um, it's just super valuable. In this game, I would have won. Let me tell you why I didn't win. Um, he picked one speed unit, but he took the speed imprint here, right? And this Sid was around like 250 speed or so. Something like that. My GK, my JQ says 270. So what he did was he actually just, he banned my Ran. And then he S1'd with this. And he just happened to push this unit and it cut my Kise and he killed it. If he would have pushed either one of these, I won the game. So, you know, that's just kind of what happens in this game sometimes. It's just, sometimes you lose the misfortune. Um, I would have reset his entire team here. I would have reset this thing, reset this thing so he can't revive, reset this thing so he can't cleanse, and I would have just blew his whole team up. But, got unlucky. Um, here, didn't really get to use it. I don't remember what happened here. But, um, looking for... 
Like more J keys say. Got it here, right? Caught this guy off guard as well. Um, got the opener. Reset his entire team. Uh, he almost soloed me with his Violet, but wasn't really able to do that. Here, um, didn't use her in here. Um, this guy, I outsped him, reset his entire team. He didn't even, he didn't expect it at all. He banned the Rand, thought he was fine. He had one speed contest. I knew none of these units were above 270. So I just reset everything. I stripped the invulnerable here. I killed the Arby, but he didn't do, like my units are all tanky. He didn't even kill JC, JK because of skill null. And then just ran him over that way. So I'll go over my build real quick and uh, kind of just go from there. All right, so this is my JK say build right now. The damage is actually abysmally bad, okay? Um, this is really low attack. I'm triple S, right? So if, if I take this off, I lose quite a bit. Well, I lose like 100 attack, but um, I used to use JK say a lot. That's why she's triple S. Um, that's how I got my frame. But um, this threshold, she does decent damage, right? Um, but her, it's really not the damage. That's important. It's nice for her to do damage. She can kill squishy targets. Um, and that's what's important. Ideally, like, I would like these stats and then have, like, 600 more attack. And I think that would be more ideal. Um, but her gear, like, look, it's it's not great. Uh, and I'll show you, like, not much damage in this. Um, it's got the right stats, just not a lot of them, right? Um, again, here, this is the, the right stats. But it's broken set, right? Um, really low attack value on this piece, but it's a high speed neck, and it's like one of my only extra options. Um, not a lot of damage here. Not a lot of damage here, right? Um, having the extra health on her and the little bit of bulk is actually kind of nice. It helps her survive hits. Because um, she she is she Virgo warriors are kind of tanky. In themselves, like you can run, you can run Jake Drake or Plate as well. Um, you don't really need the effectiveness because you're looking, you're not looking to reset high ER targets. Um, I think maybe uh, the, the the free effectiveness she gets nice, but um, I think maybe a little bit more. Just to, like if you're go, to, going into a maid situation, right? It might be nice to have maybe like 50 effectiveness in her kit if you can squeeze it in somewhere. Like if I could get rid of some of the bulk here. Like some of this health for a little bit more effectiveness and like some of this gear is a little bit more high rolled i think she would perform a little bit better but um yeah and when i'm dealing with those high er targets like the way i use my cesarea like honestly i hate using cesarea but um it's the meta right now uh i have it as an option i run a really high effectiveness cesarea so like I have my JK say as a second option there, and I'm not looking to like go super fast, right? Um, I have the Ran there. If they leave Ran, like the way my Ran is built right now, he just kills things, um, and that's why he's a standalone draft unit. Uh, I just built this today. I gave him my ACIDS gear. I'm missing a bunch of crit, but that's fine. He has 100% crit against Politis. He has 100% crit against Milam. He can still miss, but. Those are two of the squishy targets I'm typically looking to instantly delete. And then maybe like s tinnies right? So I might get cucked on an s tinny or whatever, but he still lands defense breaks on weaker targets and I can clean up that way or he just instantly kills them himself. And then I'm running Sword of Twilight because he does give himself his own attack buff, right? Um, and then and running this over Basket. Um, you can opt to not proc the Politis if you don't want to, but this and the Politis is fine because you probably instantly kill her anyways. Um, but this is mainly against Rimuru, right? If you run like a basket, for example, you're forced to give yourself a buff that forces Rimuru to get a turn. Um, with Sword of Summer Twilight, you can get the defense pin here and get the free attack buff here and do a shit ton of damage if Rimuru is not there, or you can opt to just S2 and then you don't get hit. Um, that's why I opted to go with this, um, with the option of JQ say, but like I said, like you don't absolutely have to run her in those drafts. Um, if they're running a pretty aggro team, 170, I think is a, or 270 is a very good threshold. You might just like, like Kerouac, for example, if you, you could just draft her in like my Kerouac's 253, you can just draft her into a Kerouac and reset him 
at the start of the match, reset half their units, and you just kind of win. Um, honestly, I'm kind of thinking about putting her on like uh, like Oath Key or something. Because I'm not really worried about her damage. Her damage is okay with Portrait. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't have anywhere to put Portrait anyways. But, um, yeah. I don't think she's as bad as I initially thought. Um, I thought she would have potential in Cleave. I thought it was... And, and that's really just the case, right? But you can draft her as a standalone unit built like this to just reset their entire team. It's not going to work against stuff with ER, though. So, it's just not going to work that way. Um, as for, like, if you have this unit, is she a must-build? Nah, she's kind of like... Like I said, she's on my second-rate gear. Third-rate gear, even. Um, all my Primo gear for DPS speed is on... Like, she basically took my Kisei's gear. My, my blue Kisei. Because I never drafted her anyways. So, I basically just gave her my blue Kisei's gear and went with it and she's actually been working kind of fine um i will be doing some more rta here but i'm not going to record i don't know how many games i'm going to do um i kind of want to get into the 3100s um but i don't want to sit here and talk to my drafts so i want to just I get here and kind of enjoy this. playing it right but i will be recording some gameplay i will highly likely get her in some games in the near future and i'll be able to show you guys using her that way um, I'm sure there's tons of videos on YouTube of people using her in Champion Arena against, you know, in in, a, in an environment where you can literally use any unit. And honestly, I think those showcases are dog shit. Um, that's why I kind of threw shade at him in my last video, saying this is an RTA showcase, not Arena. You can't really showcase a unit in Arena to its potential. And you can make any unit look good in Arena. I don't like those. That's not that's not the state of the game anymore. That was the state of the game two years ago, where you showcase a unit in Arena and Guild War. That shit does not matter now, unless you're doing it for entertainment comment content like YD. Like I think that shit is so irrelevant. Like I think if you're gonna showcase a unit, it needs to be an RTA at this point. That's where the game is now. Or if you're showing that it can one shot something, cool. I, I don't really like that either. But you know, going off on tangent, I don't want to go off a tangent. Um, let me know what you guys think about Jay Kisei in the comments if you guys have tried her or if you're more interested in trying her now that I kind of talked about her a little bit. I think she's alright. As you notice, like, legend player, right? Jay Kisei. This, is, this isn't, you know, s fucking silver RTA where I'm hiding my rank, okay, and showing you guys Jay Kisei when I'm out gearing people. This is legend, okay? Uh, I might not be in Legend myself, but I fight Legend like literally half of my match history is Legend players, okay? So, this top 300 is Legend, whether people want to think it is or not. Like, they're, we're all the same caliber of player up here. I, I'd argue maybe top 4, top 500 is a Legend player at this point. It really just depends on who plays more, okay? Um, but, yeah, I think JKC is alright. So... Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Peace.